Hello grade 10 mabuhay. So again, this is Larry Umdel Rosario and we are now already on the part 4 of our discussion about geometric sequence. Okay, so inserting a certain number of terms between two given terms of a geometric sequence is an interesting activity in studying geometric sequences. We call the terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence the geometric means. So our topic for today is all about geometric means. Okay. Kap kapag pinag-uusapan natin ang means, kamukha lang din siya ng arithmetic means. Okay. That means given yung first term, given yung last term. And we are going to insert a certain uh, terms between the two given terms. Okay, so in order for you to easily understand how it goes, let us have, let us first derive the formula for geometric sequence. Okay, so in this video, dinerive ko na yung ating formula para mas madali yung matandaan kung paano ba kinukuha yung ating common ratio. Okay, so let us derive the formula first. Ang n term ng geometric means, ng geometric sequence rather ay a sub n equals a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Okay, always remember, we are only looking for r. That means, itong r lang na to dapat ang matira. Okay, so para maalis natin si a sub 1, we are going to divide both sides by a sub one. So, cancel na si a sub 1. So, we have, pagbabalik na rin ko lang. So, we have r raised to n minus 1 equals a sub n over a sub 1. Okay. So, since ang inahanap lang natin ay si r, that means we can get the n minus 1 root of, of both sides. So, we are going to get the n minus 1 root of both sides. n minus 1. That means, cancel na to, cancel na to, r is equal to n minus 1 root of a sub n all over a sub 1. Okay, that means, ito na yung standard formula na susundin natin sa pag-solve ng um, geometric means. Okay, bakit ginawa ko siyang r? Bakit si R yung kailangang hanapin kapag geometric means? Simply because, kapag means ang pinag-uusapan, walang magkasunod na terms. Okay? So, that means, you are going to find the common ratio na hindi ka nagdi-divide ng dalawang magkasunod na term. Gagamitin natin yung, yung given na n term. Okay? After natin kuhanin yung common ratio, makukuha na natin yung ating iba't ibang geometric means. Okay, so para mas maintindihan nyo siya lalo, let us have a series of examples. Okay, so let us say that in example number 1, a sub 1 is equal to 5. And a sub 5 is equal to 3,125. So, we are going to insert three geometric means. Okay, using the formula, ang kailang, ma visualize nyo siya in a form of 5, may tatlong blank, okay, followed by 3, 1, 2, 5. Okay, so para, uh, ang una natin gagawin para ma-solve to, kailangan natin kuhanin yung common ratio. Kaya lang, wala nga magkasulod na term. So, gagamitin natin yung formula na dinerive ko kanina. Okay? So, we have R equals N minus 1 root of A sub N all over A sub 1. R is the common ratio. N is the position of the last term, minus 1, a sub n yung last term natin, a sub 1 yung ating first term. Okay, that means, r is equal to, pang ilan yung uh, 3, 1, 2, 5 natin dun sa given, so pang, bilangin natin. Okay, so pang ilan siya, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means, it is a sub 5. So, pang lima yung position niya. Okay, so 5 minus 1, root 
of, yung last term natin ay 3, 1, 2, 5, divided by, yung first term natin ay 5. So, r is equal to 5 minus 1 is 4. So, we have 4th root. Okay. 3, 1, 2, 5 divided by 5 is 6, 2, 5. Okay. r is equal to you are going to think of a number na kapag multiply mo siya ng 4 times, sa sarili niya ay magkakaroon ka ng sagot na 625. Okay, so that is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 is... Times 5 times 5 times 5. So 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, times 5 is 625. So that means our answer is positive or negative, positive and negative 5. Okay, bakit natin ginawang positive o negative 5? Tatandaan nyo lagi, kapag even, again, pag even yung root na hinahanap natin, that means you are going to use positive and negative 5. Pero kapag add siya, let's say for example, cube root, fifth root that means you are only you are going to use positive 5 alone so this time since even yung 4 we are going to use positive or and negative 5 okay that is our common ratio and to get the missing terms imumultiply lang natin lang natin yung common ratio doon sa ating mga previous terms so 5 times 5 our r is positive and negative 5. So, let's start with positive. So, we have 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 1 2 5 times 5 is 6 2 5 Using negative, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25 times negative 5 is 1 2 5 times negative 5 is negative 6 2 5 Okay, next example Next example, we have 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 96. Okay, that means this is our A sub 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this is our A sub 6. We are going to insert how many geometric means? We are going to insert four geometric means. Okay, using the formula. So let's use another sheet. Okay, so we have r is equal to n minus one root of a sub n all over a sub one. Again, r is common ratio. N is the position of the last term. A sub n is the last term. A sub one is the first term. R is equal to the position of our last term. A pang anim, so six minus. 1 root of yung last term natin ay 96. Check natin ulit. So yung last term natin ay 96. At yung first term natin ay 3. Okay, so r is equal to 6 minus 1 is 5th root of 96 divided by 3 is 32. Okay, since add siya, we are just going to use positive. So, r is equal to, you are going to think of a number na kapag multiply mo 5 times by itself, the answer is 32. And that is 2. Our common ratio is 2. Okay. Given the common ratio, makukuha na natin yung ating missing terms. Okay. Our common ratio is equal to 2. So, that means 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 is 12, times 2 is 48, sorry, 24 times 2 is 48 times 2 is 96. Okay, that means your answer is correct. Okay, so for the last example, we have the sequence we have the sequence 81 we are going to insert 3 uh, geometric means. Okay, as you notice, bumaba yung value ng ating uh, sequence. Mas malaki yung a sub 1, which is 81, papaliit siya papunta kay 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is a sub 5. Okay, that means our common ratio by observation is a fraction. Okay, so para mas maintindihan natin, let us use the formula. 
Okay, so we have R is equal to N minus 1 of root of A sub N over A sub 1. Okay, bilangin natin kung pang ilang term yung ating last term. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means pang 5 yung ating last term. R is equal to 5 minus 1 root of yung last term natin ay 1 divided by yung first term natin as 81. Okay. R is equal to 5 minus 1 is 4. So, we're going to get a fourth root of 1 over 81. O, since fraction siya, pwede nating i-distribute si radical sign on numerator and denominator. So, R is equal to the fourth root of 1 all over fourth root of 81. Okay. R is equal to, so what is the fourth root of 1? 1. The fourth root of 81 is 4. Since, <coughs> sorry, since even yung ating uh, root, that means we are going to have positive and negative. So our common ratio is positive and negative 1 fourth. <coughs> So, multiply natin siya doon sa previous. So, we have 81. Okay, sorry. So, nagkaroon lang tayo ng error. So, the fourth root of 81 is 3. Okay. Since 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. That means our common ratio is positive and negative 3. Going back, we are going to multiply our common ratio positive and negative 3. 1 third and 81 times 1 third is 27 times 1 third is 9 times 1 third is 3 using negative 1 third so we have 81 times negative 1 third is negative 27 times negative 1 third is 9 times negative 1 third is negative 3 Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you learned something on our discussion about geometric means. Okay, so if you if you have questions, uh, nagkaroon ako ng error sa videos, please feel free to comment it on the comment box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe on my channel for more videos. Do not forget to click the notification bell so that you will be able to be notified on my latest upload. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.